this video is about Soccer Aid, which you're all going to be celebrating tonight and donating to. My advice is don't. They are a scam, right? Now, um, they are on behalf of UNICEF. UNICEF, I've got evidence also that UNICEF misused pu donated public funds. Let's go on to one of the CEOs, Catherine Russell. She's on $620,000 a year. That's what she pays herself on a salary. That's before bonuses. So when you're talking bonuses, you're talking into the millions. Now, are you really going to be that stupid to donate money tonight when they put a few little sad videos on and you're going to donate money to them to pay their five-star holidays and kids' private education? No, you shouldn't. Catherine Russell is a criminal. She misuses donated public funds. That is what she does. Now, let's move on to the next CEO. So this is the president of UNICEF, Michael Nafinas, as you see here, where he's next to children, conveniently. Now, this man has also tried to hide abuse, sexual abuse charges for other people who worked within his organization. Again, he's on a salary of hundreds of thousands of pounds of donated public funds. That's the next person, so let's move on. Now, in 2018, you had a deputy director called Justin Forsyth. He was subsequently sacked from his job for sexually abusing his colleagues and other people. Again, here's his picture. Let's move on to the next suspect. Now here we have another sick individual, Peter Newell, who worked for UNICEF as a children's rights campaigner. He was found guilty in 2018 as the Daily Mail published for raping a 13 year old boy and the misuse of donated public funds. Let's move on to the next. Now as you see from this news article, it's all online. 37 million was misused by UNICEF. There was also 4 million that was also misused and there's been multiple other times when UNICEF have misused donated public funds. And are you really going to be that stupid to donate money tonight to UNICEF when they're blatant corruption? Now let's move on to, we'll move on to the next subject now. Now let me just give you a quick breakdown of exactly putting aside all the sex allegations and facts where they've all been sacked executives and had to quit. Let's just give you some quick breakdown. UNICEF have raised hundreds of millions of pounds. That does not go anywhere. The chief executives keep that. They pay themselves hundreds of thousands of pounds and donate to public funds. On top of that, any money that they then give to other organisations, them other organisations are then paying themselves massive wages, which means that when it gets filtered down to the people, they receive nothing. You've got to understand, you've got to start boycotting these charities and not donating to them because they are scams. Now, how can they be paying hundreds of thousands of pounds to celebrities to attend parties on the backs of donated public funds? Using that, them funds, that's purely for ego. That's exactly what that is. So do not donate tonight. It's a scam, UNICEF, and it's a fraud. And these executives should be in jail.